I'm live? Alright, hello humanity! Welcome back to the Grimfinity channel. My name is Grimfinite, and today we are doing more... It's not, it's not refreshed for me yet. You, you got it working on your end though? Is it, is it gone? Okay, cool. I'm live. Awesome. Hey guys, um, welcome back to some more Life is Strange episode 2 um, is about to start in a little bit. For any of you guys that know me, you know that I love Life is Strange uh, so much so that I cosplayed Chloe at multiple conventions because I love her character so much. And so, a little bit of backstory if you don't know anything about Before the Storm. So, Before the Storm is the prequel to the original Life is Strange game. Um, I'm actually um, already one episode in. I did play one episode already. So we're about to start episode two. So if you've not seen episode one yet, please guys, check out episode one. I have them all uploaded both on Twitch and YouTube. They're not going anywhere. You can view them and this will be on YouTube probably within, probably by about noon um, on release day. So for those of you that are seeing it live, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Grimfinity channel. And I am really pumped, and I want to get into this, but we can't get into it until it technically releases for everyone. I have turned off my music. I definitely recommend you check out the soundtrack. It's by, the majority of the songs are by Daughter, written for this game, and it's some amazing music. I'm going to be doing it without music because I don't want to be flagged due to copyright claims. I want you guys to be able to see the full stream with audio. Um, audio still going? All right. And we're going to hop right in, right now. We're going to go. Let's go. Uh, all right. I want to I want to make sure that we're all good. That's good. Audio. Music is off. Good. We're good. Um, do you want to put in headphones to make sure the audio is good throughout the stream? All right. We're going to pull this up because it has been a little bit since the first one. Okay, that's right. Journal. Alright. And uh, I think we can just... We can just start. Um, for those of you who want to know the choices I made on the last one. Um, because it is obviously... Do, 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 do. Your actions have consequences. So these are the choices I made the first time. So the major choices... I attacked, which 66% of people did. I was kind to Joyce, which 64% of people were. I defended Nathan, which 87% of people did. Um, surprisingly, especially after the events of the first one. And I told Rachel that we were more than just friends, which 72% of you like gays. So <laughs> thank you for 72% of you um, saying that you're more than just friends. I don't like when people simply not go with an option that seems most likely because of you know homophobia or anything like that can I bring up my other choices here how do I go to my I can't bring up my minor choices no I don't think so I can't fix my screen that's how my screens gonna look yep I can't fix it that's it that's what we got All right, let's start. This is it, guys. We're about to enter a brave new world. If I miss any graffiti marks, I'm really sorry. Like I said, this game literally just released three minutes ago um, for everyone, except for Steam users who have to wait three hours. So if you're on Steam, I'm really sorry that you have to wait three hours for this. Um, I actually had this early. I had early access to this, but I didn't want to play it because I wanted, I wanted to play it with you guys. I wanted to play it. The same time you guys were. Where's my audio? Whoa. I've got a... Does this count as music? This probably counts as music. So, so sorry, you guys, this is music right now, so it's not going to 
uh, play the audio. But you guys can kind of see previously what happened. I love that moment with the Rachel Amber reveal was so cool. So just some short commentary. So that was her father that she saw kissing the person. The person that um, was kissing, that she that her father was kissing was not her mother. And then this freak of nature event happened where she screamed and, like, the wind went all around her. It was so cool. I – here we go. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> no, Ms. I'm Price, monologuing my the backstory. The last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Oh, gosh. First choice. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. <laughs> we did. <laughs> In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful <laughs> look through her room <laughs> at home. Shall I continue? Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Victoria Chase. Oh, that action had consequences. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Oh. Now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know. The guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. 
And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. <laughs> oh, should I reassure mom or should I calm Wells? Suggestions? I don't know if this is time sensitive. No, I'm gonna reassure mom. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 <laughs> yes, it was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. She's acting. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she <laughs> came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. <laughs> that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Gotta play along. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. <laughs> she really is an amazing actress. Wells even believes it. Miss Price. We can go with it. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Ouch. Excuse me? Mama Burn. Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Ha! Ha! I'm gonna enjoy the you show. Have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we she's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you. It is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. Go I mom! Mr. Wells, there is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will oh, allow gosh. her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you would have suspended you Chloe. you squandered our trust, you will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh, shit. No. Shit. The performance is tonight. What the performance is tonight? For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. 
Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. He's the DA? There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Oh, gosh. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Oh, gosh. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. Oh, gosh, Mom. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I want to take it. Oh, this is a major action. No, I'm going to take the blame for her. I have to. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Um. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? I got you it. You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a mother. Oh gosh, not what I meant to say. Crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Uh oh gosh. Neither are an option I want to take. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I shouldn't oh, have pulled Rachel out no, of class. No, shouldn't have done that. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. I'm the worst. It's like you always say. Oh no, no, no. Blackwell's ever had. I Doesn't screwed it up. Feel good to be right. That's enough. Your loyalty to each other might be admirable, but nothing else about your attitude or I behavior tried. is. I tried, guys. I'm sorry. My decision stands. Miss Price will be suspended for the rest of the well. school year. Miss Amber will be cut from the play. This is going to be the decision regardless. I will have regardless. Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. I was really hoping that to save Rachel. All. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. You know we Mr. can't restart. We got to keep going. Ray. We got to live with it. Come on, Chloe. If anything, it showed loyalty. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Meet me at the junkyard later. You bet. I'm okay with that ending. I didn't I get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Oh gosh, she's mad at me. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. <coughs> Bunch of fascists. Yes! 
Go skip! Hey, uh, <laughs> just wanted to say, it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. He's good with words. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Oh, that's a bad plan. Oh, I can look around. I can doodle. No, I can look at the doodle. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh, well. Bongo was a stray cat before we rescued her. Then she got run over by a car. Moral of the story, n no one's ever really rescued. Gosh darn, Chloe. Oh, please don't be the end of that situation. I didn't get a chance to look around very, very much. Don't shut the locker. Okay, homework. We got pencil case. Signatures. I can sign. Please count as a, a graffiti. Ten, almost. <laughs> Suspended for the year. It's starting to feel real. Can I pull up my journal? Here, I just want to look at it real quick. All right, this is graffiti stuff, right? Yeah. So we got clean lens, hood with a view, driver's seat, sweet hideout, and shopping list. Sweet hideout? Is that the, is that the hideout? Because I hope it is. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. She's so sad, dude. Chloe! My precious baby! Skip's like, what? Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 <laughs> miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? <laughs> I love how I get to individually clean out each thing. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Oh, baby. I'm totally going to miss a doodle, aren't I? All right, well, look at the pencil Trusty case. Keeper, oh, Michael we already did that. You've served me well. I looked at that. Oh, gosh. I wish there's something. I feel like I'm going to miss something. Oh, well. Let's just do it. Oh, gosh. We're going back even farther. Absolutely. Positively the best concert of 2008. <laughs> Too bad it's time to go. There's metal. It, the, it's no band name. It's just called metal. Just metal. I wish you could graffiti inside the locker. Finally, what I actually. Oh, that's came the secret stash. She's gotta get that joint. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh gosh. Skip knows what's up. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe! Hey yo, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know? I promise I'll get you back next week. Dang it, Justin! You jerk! Steal stealing my weed! Oh, I'm mad. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling, but with Skip watching me. Uh, 
bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Okay, so I gotta see how much I can tag? Or am I tagging the locker room? Oh gosh, flashbacks of her getting shot! If you haven't played Life is Strange the first one, I'm sorry. It's way past spoilers territory. Oh gosh, perfect. Clean lens. Let's do it. Oh, she draws the mustache! Aww. No, she... Oh! Oh! All the graffiti in the first one! All the graffiti in the first one is from her! All the graffiti you see, like, on the locker rooms and stuff? Because remember, there was, like, little bits and pieces of, like, stuff written all over the locker room. Like, Rachel Amber was here, blah, blah, blah. By the way, a great song by Daughters is playing. I definitely recommend listening to it. She's really going to town, though. No. She's really going to town, though. She's ran on everything. She's like, you know what? I'm going to get all the way up here. What if she accidentally slips? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's my reaction to Victoria. Just wide-eyed, blank stare of expression. Like, how did she not realize? Like, how did she not realize how... Oh, gosh, she's going to get in so much more trouble than she's already in. No. No. Oh no. Gosh. We're gonna have to deal with David. Go ape! Or no, Bigfoots. Yeah, Bigfoots, go ape. I wanna be the mascot. Can I just dress as Bigfoot for Halloween? Later, Skip. Later. He's gonna have a. At least he's not maintenance. Oh. Oh, you know who's maintenance? Looks like David's here. What's his face? Awesome. Oh boy, here we go. Alright. Ah, stop texting, I want to read. Oh, I saw Hella. I saw Hella. Okay, so I gotta keep going. Alright, made it with into my house without seeing either of my parents. Oh, that was at, this morning. That was this morning, at 1 in the morning. Sweet! You're born to be a spy. Jumping out trains and shit. Oh man, we'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Ha <laughs> ha. Meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. LOL, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. <laughs> we should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Wells blows. That meaning hella sucked. So this is now. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously. We'll. Uh, we'll get. Uh, get something. We'll seriously. We'll get revenge. She already got revenge. Revenge already happened. Oh no! A message from mom. Oh, oh! A lot of messages from mom because. I need you to do better, Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay. Okay? So that was when we were in the vehicle. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe? Really? Chloe, you've... You... you can't keep doing this to me. I'm trying my best. Elliot. Oh, oh, we promised him for the movie thing. 
Holy shit, did you get Wells' text about the fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? Oh, he tries so hard. Amber alert. Urgent. Fire weather update. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Arcadia Bay, Oregon, and then the times. Not contained, I think it said, too. Members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I've spoken with Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all classes in particular activities. For all sports and particularly for sports and all extracurricular activities. All right. Um, let me make sure we're not missing anything here. Oh, that did not count as the graffiti spot. So before we approach mom and dad, we're going to look around a little. See if there's something. Drug free zone. The drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Gosh, Chloe. Stage hands. See, when I was in theater back in back in high school, we had to make our own sets. We didn't have any special little people that we called. We would go back and forth between a small garage and the Maybe school. Use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. <laughs> But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. <laughs> no more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. Oh, that's that's Elliot. I want to talk to Elliot before I talk to my parents, I guess for this sure. This fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Yeah, she did. By burning a picture of her father, nonetheless. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was <laughs> suspended. Wait, really? Holy she was expelled, shit. wasn't she? I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh, I got no thanks that. I got no. Th Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, what? man. And Whoa. What, what are you doing here? I Whoa. thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I gotta break the news to him that I got a girl crush. Actually, uh, I was thinking, maybe I won't go to the Tempest. <laughs> the more I think about being at Blackwell tonight, the more I want to throw up. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I should have thought of that. Do you just want to hang out instead? Oh, he yeah, tries so I hard. I think I'll just chill at home. You don't mind, right? It's totally cool. No problem. Oh, don't. Next time. Don't do that voice okay. stutter thing. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to see oh. that dark mustache on me. I wonder how different the game would have been if I went. About it. See you around, Elliot. I wonder how different it would have been if I went with him. Yeah. You know? Later. But no. I had to choose the gay option. I have zero regrets, though. Well, I, I regret how bad he feels. I feel really bad for him. His head much? 
That has to be Skip's car. <laughs> Isn't that the name of his band? I can't remember. Uh, beer bottles. You know, normal Blackwell That's stuff. They do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. Oh, I thought, I thought, she is just, she is just going. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. For real, though. Well, this car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Oh, please tell me I can graffiti Wells' car. Because that would be the bomb.com. I can't. You're right, I can't. I can look at this, though. He guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one to thing. To make me use course. my teacher voice. Science doesn't care what you believe. Miss Grant. I am actually going to miss Max Miss Grant. Max this shit. Special thanks to Carolyn Prescott. In independent study by... Where where am I going back to? Something came up on this side. Are you sure? Yeah, lights. I, I can graffiti the lights. For the tempest. Oh, thank you so much, Gordinger. I I hope I'm saying that right. Hmm. It's Gordon Space Jerry. What could yeah. the tempest use more of? Oh gosh. Potter anarchy. The real question. I gotta no, go anarchy. Left is to get arrested. Achievement unlocked. 6.6% stage handwriting. Thank you so much for that, Gordon. I appreciate it so much. I would have totally missed it. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, charger cords. They're so, they're so long. All right, now we'll go talk to Mom. Since we've let uh, Elliot down really hard. Gosh, she took that hard. It's about damn time. David, please. Can I kick that guy? I would love to. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, right. just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I want to slap him I so don't hard. Need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is. You don't listen. Chloe, we just want to help. <laughs> I'm sure. I know what you did. The money in my purse. I appreciate it, Chloe. She knew about the money I put in her Where purse, guys. From? Oh, gosh. I can either say I stole it or it doesn't matter. Does that really matter? I can't turn a blind eye. We need money, Mom. I'm providing as best I can. I appreciate what you've done. I'm just I'm worried about you, Chloe. <laughs> this is so pointless. I don't understand what we're doing here. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be <laughs> a soldier? Gosh. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Oh, gosh. Someone need my help? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? 
maybe I don't know yet. Maybe I'm in high school. <laughs> long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, what? I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the Oh, don't lay this on me right now. Incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. Oh gosh. She insulted me. Oh gosh. She swore at me. Cause you're a jerk, but dude. With an apology, I'm willing to start over. Oh, I gotta. I just, I need everyone to be happy with me right now. I don't need anybody mad at me. Especially not a guy that can slap me upside the head while my friend hides in the closet. I gotta go with sure. Literally and figuratively. Reset button pressed. Oh gosh, the actual I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer... Abusing no. drugs or alcohol. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I hate this already. It looks like he beats her the way she's looking. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets <sighs> and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What are you the fuck? Are you if kidding? We're going to start over. We have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. It's not just about what David feels. Feel this is the best way to start fresh. Oh, I feel like it's Let's an abusive go, relationship. Chloe. Quit stalling. I mean, clearly it was from the second one, but I feel like there's more actual physical and emotional abuse going on here that we don't see. I can comply or I can refuse. I'm gonna comply. I want trust right now. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? A picture of a cat. <laughs> Good. It sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I got it, you, but not him. That. He didn't apologize. He asked for an apology sure. from me. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's for enough what? out of you, David. We need to start yes. treating each other better. And that means all of us. Yes. We need a new beginning. Yes. A new chapter. One yes. That will involve the three of us together. No. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage no. is for me to move in. Nope, I don't like that. No fucking way. Chloe, after nope. everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. How about Talk one with a job? Me. Tell me what you're feeling. Is it that hard? You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. Gosh. She's In a so million stuck. years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. 
Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. She had a stable home. Her dad died. What the fuck, dude? Can I slam the door? Please tell me I have the option to slam the door. Nope, I'm gonna get in it. He looks so smug. Oh gosh, I don't like his attitude. Slam it, slam it! Hey. Yes! <laughs> there is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Gosh, Let her poor go. Girl. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. You don't even know, know who I am, David. How do you know that's what I'll do, David? You don't know that. You have no clue. You have no clue what I'll do. You've known me for what? A couple months that you've been dating my mom? That's it? <laughs> so, no, you don't know me. You don't know what I'll do. You don't know if I'll come home or not. You're hoping. Because then you'll look like a jerk and you'll have to deal with her crying, which clearly you don't look like you like to deal with people crying. I think you'd freak out if someone was crying. Same. Same. How do you know which way is up when your Gosh, those eyes has been turned upside down? I have the same color eyes as her. And I really want to cosplay that outfit so bad. So bad, guys. You don't even know. I'm in the junkyard. Waiting for Rachel? Probably. We shall see. There's my baseball when bat. Done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Is that the only pair of clothes you have on you? Because that sucks, girl. I ship it. I was streaming. You know there's going to be bad puns. And there's a Fallout 4 mannequin. Sorry, guys. Just grabbing some caffeine. Fix her up. Or bang her. No, show her some love. Make her into your own vehicle. Ugh. Sorry, just turning on some AC here. That's a corroded battery. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. All right. I wonder if I can find one around here. So hold LT to view your objective. Get battery, put in truck. That's simple. I want to I want to Oh, I got text. Oh gosh, it's my mother, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna feel so guilty. Gosh. Okay, back down. Uh, this one. Nope, just kidding. Chloe Davis trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets. And then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Gosh, Mom! Making me feel guilty. So guilty. And look at the mannequin head. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. It's because you got the feelings, girl. <laughs> Hold on. I know there's got to be at least one graffiti spot in here. And I want to see if I can grab all of it. Hood with a view. 
and driver's seat are probably the two. School bus, look. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Can I graffiti it? No, I can't get in that driver's seat. There's a nice little beach towel here, though. You're a long way from the beach. Okay, so there's probably a hood. I assume that I can... Oh, gosh, that probably has a great battery in it. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? No, no, that's my objective. This is not going to have a good battery in that case. Can I graffiti the hood of it, though? Can this I reshut it? Work. Yeah, I get it. There's a white one right there. Police notice. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. <laughs> Poor duder. Okay, I've investigated the battery already. Is there... I remember last time I was in the junkyard, it was really hard to get the graffiti spot. So we're, we're going to do some uh, investigating, if you all are okay with that. We'll continue on with the game in a little bit, but I want to investigate the area a little bit first. American Rust. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, oh, is that, is that the bobblehead that she has on her front console in the second game? Cool. Cool. I'm glad we investigated in that case. No, not going over there. If you guys have any suggestions about where this graffiti spot might possibly be. I am open to suggestions. I want to look at the boat. Oh, I can climb in the boat. Oh, yes. Perfect. Everything I've ever wanted to do. Climb the ship. Come on, you can do it. Move. Move those knees. I'm not going to be able to do it. Damn, you cigarettes. The pallet. I can prop that up. Hmm? Down here. Oh. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Before I climb in the boat, oh, I found uh, I found a radio. Please don't play music. Oh, this is the hideout. That's that's the hideout. A pirate flag. Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> I wonder if there's treasure buried nearby too. That'd be nice. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. LOL, that fire's Rachel Not Amber. This is a vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. Communism, atheism, free love. <laughs> Say a merry fuck you is what it said in the thing. You gotta love Christmas a place lights. where even Christmas looks depressing. Kind of, I can't go in there yet. Oh, that's sad. And go around here. Don't want to leave yet. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to leave. I'm trying to look around. Gosh, camera angle. Okay. There's a rug. This rug has some miles on it. But still no, still no graffiti point. I'll go to the boat. I'm just gonna take the long way. That's the that's what I did earlier. Smile, bitch. 
This is everything I did earlier, actually. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Oh. I love the Chloe. I love that Chloe has this whole like love-hate relationship with this imaginary image of this friend that she hasn't seen in a long time. Like it's really interesting what you what you do with friendships over time. You sometimes turn them into stuff that they're not. Like you make the friendship out to be better than it actually was. Or you make it out to be worse than it actually was. You kind of idolize memories you have with that person because those are memories you're never going to experience again, but you could hate their guts. Shit. Oh, that fire's still going. Holy cow. What do I want Excuse to me. tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Burial grounds or buried treasure? We're gonna go with treasure. Got it. Insert comment about booty. Please, please be in comment about booty. She's drawing a picture too. Achievement unlocked. Radical piratical. No, it's just a treasure map. <laughs> I don't know for a fact that there isn't buried treasure there. The map. Oh gosh, I can climb that too. Oh, I can climb to the very tippity top. Perfect. <sighs> And just think, if I'd gone the car battery, that would have been it. So I can actually look out over the fire, I assume? Or I'm just looking at the fire. Oh, please don't be a cutscene. I didn't put the battery in yet. I oh, no, it's a sitting spot. I will set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. I love the sitting moments, the the ponder Isn't spots as I so call them. Can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. You you think you in, think a crazy forest fire would have been mentioned in uh, in the other thing in the other game. You would think. All right, I think we're good. Um, one of the pictures is going to be after I put in my new little buddy. I betcha. Cause I have my I have my new little buddy I'm carrying with me. Can I set him inside? Right now. No. Magical Thanks. battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Ah. Well, not magically. It's going to be in that... I already know where it's going to be. I can get said magical battery. I just wanted to see if I could put my put my little uh, musician in in his spot first. But that's okay. We'll go we'll go get that battery now. I feel like we done some we done some good exploring. Ah, wrong button. All right. Uh oh, she's writing to Max. Max, uh, I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life. The next moment, I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her. Like some dork asking the head cheerleader to prom. And she blew me off. Because of course she did. But wait, that's not all. Because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously. And then I passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me. How was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. Poor girl! 
It's gonna be okay. What We're gonna make you a car. Under their hood? Oh, I have to go get the crowbar to open it, don't I? Oh no, I can hit the little latch. Pull the latch. Pull the trigger. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that first of all. If I think I can change a battery out, how do I not know how to open the hood for a vehicle? In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. That's about how I talk about cars right there. I have a blown head gasket on my car right now, so I can't even drive my car. Here so I wish go. I knew the stuff like that. So I have a battery and a little guy. Perfect. Can I climb in the smash? Oh, yeah, no, this was a... They were looking for drugs. They slashed open the, the car seats. Attention to detail. Not that I know what, what you know, a, a drug bust looks like. Um, well, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put this in mind. I live about 30 minutes from Detroit. Hmm... I think oh, I'm I wanted to pick up the bat. I really, really did. Oh, I passed it. Hold on, here it is. Battery. Stick in the battery. Gosh, she has no clue what she's doing. And that's heavy, too. How did she just carry that? Oh, gosh. Chloe, you're gonna get an electrical burn. That's a really bad idea. Sweetie. Gosh, she has no clue what she's doing. Can you turn the heat down? A convenient screwdriver. I love how she jumps up and down. She's so excited. Down. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the Aww. meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh, so so this is where I put everything. Throw the singing man up there. Oh gosh, no. You can Please. hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Please tell me I got more options. Probably so a I good need idea to cover open the rug. Something. So that's the rug. Rusted floorboard. While an escape hatch could be nice. I should probably cover over this massive hole. Or maybe that's the rug. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. That's the Christmas tree light bulb. I'm, I'm technically like in the driver's seat, right? And one of the graffiti options were driver's seat. Okay, I guess I'm leaving the car. Maybe I need to put everything in it first. Okay. All right. Let's see what else this trash. All right. Let's go grab out. everything. So we already did some exploring, so we basically know where everything is right now. Oh, can I take the toy robot? That's gonna be important. Light oh, the light bulb, bulb on the top of his head. Over the Christmas lights, really? Okay. Can I take the pirate flag? Oh, please tell me I can do something with the pirate flag. Good. Good. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Good. Okay, now we need the rug. I don't need the fire poker quite yet. Can I take the radio? I can turn it off. I, I still can't go in there yet because I can't get the right angle to go in there. No, oh, I already looked at that. A vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. Can't take the Christmas lights. No, I can just look at them. So let's grab the rug. Because that's going to be for the floor. 
Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. I love how she's repurposing stuff to make her car look cool. Hmm? I think that was it as well. Is there anything else I can do to it? No. I can go inside. That's it. All right. So cover the rusted floorboard. Fix. I love how it says fix, but I'm literally just throwing a rug over it. Perfect. It's all fixed. Okay, we'll fix the broken bulb first. And that's done. See, she she's per she's really really good at uh fixing things up. I'm very very proud of her. You done good, kid. You done good. Let me just I'm just literally just looking at this. Yeah, it says driver's seat. Driver's seat, sweet hideout, shopping list. Uh I should put that in first. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. I should have put the driver's seat in first. That's if it I might have missed a graffiti point, guys, in which case I'm really sorry. Still how sweet would My guess is I had to put in the driver's seat first and then graffiti the driver's seat. Whoa. My controller's vibrating. Oh, it's a phone call. Yeah. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got <laughs> to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... Drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> uh, in general, or to you? Oh gosh, that didn't answer my question, Frank. Listen, Frank. Can I at least graffiti you while I wait? Time for a hard earned smoke break. Yep. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Perfect. Mystical or frightening? Let's go mystical. Yeah, it never shows what she's writing until... The eye sees all. Achievement unlocked. Feels on wheels. <laughs> Let's turn on the dome light. Good, Robo -bulb. Let's, uh... Can I look at Tell that? Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all-seeing eye. What can singing man do? I can look at him. Let's open the glove compartment. Ooh. What do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Is this her first beanie? Aw, hell yeah. Oh, you know, it's official. This'll do. I'm cosplaying this. Without a doubt. I have to now. Complete with the leggings, of course. You know, you go all out or you don't. No. Honk the horn. Do it. Do it. 
<laughs> All right. I think we're good to have a smoke. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to Time to ki Time to kiss Rachel Amber. Time to kick Principal Wells in the balls. Time to kill David. <laughs> that looks so cool. Go deck nine. It feels so life is strange. There's that raven again. Or crow. It's a raven. It's a raven, right? We talked about this. For those of you still watching, thanks for hanging out and watching with me. I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out. It's so cool that I don't have to go through this episode alone, and I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and I love you so much. No, Chloe, don't fall asleep. Don't pass out. Oh, gosh, it's going to be a nightmare sequence, isn't it? Oh, gosh, no. I don't want this. I don't want this. She has a very bad habit of passing out in cars. She should get that looked into. Yeah, it's a nightmare sequence. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Shit. Oh. I slept all day. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, gosh. I'm terrified. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, no. What the fuck? It's, I mean, yeah, it's pretty, but, like, but, like, actually fucking terrified. I just don't like nightmare sequences in anything. Because think about it, she thinks it's all real. Holy moly, I brought up the journal. Okay, here we go. Um, so Hollyweed in the bottom right. So these are like her fears or her inner thoughts. So we've got the tree burning down. Rachel kissing Elliot? No, 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 no. That's the dad. The, that's Rachel's dad and that random girl because of the tattoo arm. Um, and then we've got David marrying Joyce, Blackwell Academy, and Max at the center. And the lighthouse. It's escape the bay. Can we escape the bay? There's no way to the middle. I'm just realizing it's all closed off because of Max being there. You can't get to the middle. Yeah, because of Max being there, you can't get to the middle. As a matter of fact, the top middle is completely a closed off circle. Serves no purpose whatsoever. Did anything else change? Max, one new message. You got kicked out of Blackwell? Wow, I don't think we can be friends anymore. If we ever were. Gosh. Wells. Oh, gosh. Miss Price, you do realize what happens to students when they leave Blackwell? Their parents die. Tick. Tock. Tick. Tock. <sighs> Each minute. Is that 1090? What? 1090? Wait. That's not an actual time at all. But does that mean something, I wonder? I feel like Deck Nine would be the type to have it mean a little something more, you know? But the TikTok he's saying every minute, which I thought was kind of cool. We've got a message from the Raven this time. Caw! Caw! No, what was it? What was the date? Zero, 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 zero. At midnight. 
<laughs> Shakespeare. I'll trade your father for Rachel. I need her to be a star. My star. What? I'll trade your father. F oh. oh! You can have your father back if I can have Rachel. Gosh, inverted Shakespeare is the new creepiest meme I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't want inverted Shakespeare on anything, please. All right, continuing. Gosh. Okay, so I've got a stick, marshmallows, I can look at dad, I've got fire. Let me look at dad first. I miss him so much. Chloe. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? Does anyone really like marshmallows? I do. I have an entire bag of marshmallows sitting over on the counter right now. Not even gonna lie. Oh, it vibrated when I stabbed it. I was too. I thought like blood would come oozing out or something. Uh, should I speak to Dad or roast the marshmallow first? I assume I can speak to him while I'm roasting it. Or he'll speak to me. Maybe. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? Getting closer. You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. What? But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. What the hell? Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Oh gosh. He that was What the fuck? <laughs> I did not need that in my life. She's so she's so terrified. She's so stuck up on him and what happened with him and everything. You have the, you have the, okay. Oh, it's our favorite fire. 
Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. <laughs> so, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, isn't Frank coming up here? What? Why she got a bag? She's opening her door for her. Sweet, sweet babykins. Damn. <laughs> You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it'd be <laughs> to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I love how she I referenced the graffiti. escape vehicle already. I gotta say, I hope. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I can. I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's <laughs> ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. Quoting Shakespeare. At least Wells has no idea what really went That's down with us right? last night. Yeah. Shit got pretty wild. Yeah, it did. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely oh, wrong nuts one. last night. Wrong one. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Yes! Therapy for Therapy. all the Life is Strange you actors. Start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. They're not actors, characters. Well, Doc. You talk about the fire, Blackwell or David? Get emotional. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. The real Vortex Club. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche. Not even a question. He's, uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Uh, soon, stepping down the aisle. What uh, the kind of therapist are you? Sorry. <laughs> it's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. 
Uh, let's talk about Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. <laughs> I bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. Do I want to talk about the fire? No. Kind of. No. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Aww. Can we talk She's about something hurting. else? She's hurting so much. Of course. Play, fire, or check. Talk about truck. That's I a safe option. I kind of fix the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills. Something I've really <laughs> tried to avoid. Upshot. I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Poor. She's hurting so bad. She's hurting so bad. I feel for Do her. Do you think... There's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore. You're Gosh. just whatever you think other people want you to be. That's how I feel as an actor I constantly. I, have a I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Uh, um, raise his hand? Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Gosh. Do something, Chloe! You're a terrible friend! Hey, hey. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Rapidly something taps, criminal. yes. Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, Partners in crime. Your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. I love her. I don't get her, but I love her. She just checked out that ass. Hello, Junk Shack. Yes. Yes, yes, and more yes. I'm in love. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. My phone just shut off. Ah! Yeah. Yes. Rachel! Grab something from home, then I'll meet you. Oh, wait. Here we go. Whoa, there's so much. <sighs> Wells blows. That meeting hella sucked. You're hello. Okay, seriously, we'll get revenge.
Chloe Price. I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grab something from home. they will meet you at, at Junkyard. See you really soon. You better. You better see me soon, Rachel Amber. You got me into this predicament. Take responsibility. And Mikey. Mike. No, it's Mikey. Yeah. Eck, I heard you got suspended. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Steph says... Steph says... You're a nerd. Aww. Good. Call me out, Steph. What what are these? Are these areas? Are these locations? These are locations. Oh, these are things I've collected. If I have to use this to solve mysteries later. I'm missing some though. No, I think these are areas. Okay. Uh sweet hideout and shopping list. What's next? So don't open that yet. We're gonna look around. Sign. Prop up. Just in case anyone thinks they're going the right way by trespassing on my new humble abode. What can I turn off? Oh, that's the radio. I can hang a sign. Just want to do some looking around first. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Cannon wall. Cannon wall. Because it's canon that that says Chloe was here. In the original in the original thing, there's a comment about it. The cutting edge in junkyard security technology. Yeah, if you don't have one, get on my level. Yay! The elephant is now looking gorgeous, as always. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Alrighty, let's... I, oh, dartboard. We uh, gotta hang that. And then we'll see what Rachel got us. Something tells me Chloe hopes it's weed. Yeah, whatever happened to Frank showing up at the junkyard? Is Frank gonna trespass in my room? Because that would suck. A bag full of clothes. Figures. Yes, I need those. Is it my clothes or her clothes? Oh, I don't want to try on her clothes. <laughs> I like, like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. So I got raven hair, Rorschach skull, um, turret tower, and then bonus outfits. Uh, I got a bird skull for being a Square Enix member. Um, Illumini, Punk Doe. Oh, I kind of still want to go with Punk Doe. Yeah, we're going to stick with, we're going to stick with Punk Doe. Well, well, you can do Terror Tower when you do a playthrough. So we'll stick with Punk Doe. Yeah, I'm going to try on this new one. <laughs> I love trying on what I'm already wearing. No? Okay. And new message from Frank. There's Frank. 
I'm at the junkyard now. Gosh, okay, I gotta go find him. I gotta go find the Frankster. I do need a shopping list, though. That's not something that I'm gonna find in here. There's his RV! Surprise! It's America's favorite drug dealer. Oh! That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. She's a tattooist. Yo, She's Frank. a tattooist. It's Chloe. Tattoo artist, yeah. What? I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. <laughs> Is the password drugs? <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a young rough Frank night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? That's Frank's that? list. Ah! 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 God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Gosh, Frank. New message from Justin. Dude, I heard the bad news. Suspensions suck. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. If you want to blaze with me and Trev, let me know. Thanks. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Shopping list. I'm looking for a shopping list. Let's Sorry, look at the Frank. note first. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. How dare you offer candy to children without parental permission? I reported your license plate to the Arcadia Bay Police Department. My graffiti has consequences, guys. Fight the power. <laughs> A betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. That looks... That looks extremely familiar. If you remember when I pulled up what I found so far... There's Damon Merrick's signature on that. And then, and then we just got that, that one. I can't take it though. Twelve hundred dollars. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? I can look at Frank. I don't know necessarily what looking at Frank would do. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh cabinet here we can uh, we can open it I can look at it properly wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies oh gosh it's all beans it's all beans. beans oh yeah when he freaks out over beans in the first one those were my beans Gosh, that's embarrassing. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. I can't close it, I don't think. Can I? Do I have the option? No, I just had the option to look at them. I can graffiti his shopping list, though. Beer, TP, milk. Should I write work or home at the top? Got it. Oh, jeez, Chloe. Achievement unlocked. Wish list. Well, work would have probably been worse. It probably would have been something in regards to him this being a drug dealer. Be the most gentle, but it is important. Let's uh, let's open his fridge. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. 
It's all meat. And human bodies. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think that would be a Frank thing. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Do I take the drugs? Part of a balanced breakfast. I can't. I can't take the drugs. That'd be... That'd be really wrong of me, and I can't rewind. We're not going to take the drugs, guys. We're trying to set Chloe on the straight and narrow, for goodness sakes. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? You really do. Gosh. What happened in there? Hey there. It's okay, oh. little guy. Oh, oh. shit. Pompadou, get up here. Pompadou. You little killer. Yes. Can I pet him? Oh, please tell me. I will do anything to pet him. Oh, can I just ignore my text and pet him instead? Gosh, Elliot, one new message. Wait, hold on. I still can't believe you got suspended. If you need someone to talk to, let me know, or want to confess your darkest secrets. I'm really okay with it, man. Haha, -ha, seriously, I'm here for you. Cool, thanks. Gosh, I'm so standoffish to him. Gross. Is that vomit and beans? It's totally vomit and beans. I can use his computer. Next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Hi there. My dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks, Frank B. Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy, Marianne. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you are really able to have a dog. Oh, it's one of those people. Everyone knows one of these people. What's your what's your fucking problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her. And worse. Everyone knows someone like this. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. What? Wait, what is this? Is this his history? His browser history? Um... Go he, this is what he Googles, guys. Uh, dr we're going to start at the bottom. Why, why won't puppy eat steak? How large was biggest cloud in history? Megan Fox single. <laughs> Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Property insurance fire illegal. <laughs> cloud formation screensaver. My Lacuna single. <laughs> Pisshead music. He's a fan of Pisshead! What age will dog eat steak? Dream about Cloud's meaning. Shit. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. That's 10k gone, just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are going to be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. I just want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. D. Assumes it's a dude, mind you. D is Damon, without a doubt. Um, Ball Crusher 348, it's Damon. Um, dogs didn't make it. 10k gone. He was running dog fights. The bat slips aren't for wrestlers. The bat slips are for dogs. They're training dogs to do dog fights, guys. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Kelly's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off. Keep your 3K. I'm saving him for my buddy, Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than the 3K. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. Damon. Oh, he wrote his name that time. Well, I mean, I'm glad I read all that. That gave me some, uh... 
some information. I wonder what happened wow. to this pillow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is it a switchblade? Oh, it's, a Frank, it's Frank's knife. Skip the notebook, look around. Frank and his BFF. That's Damon. That's adorable. Have we met Damon? That guy. That's what he looks like. Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. <laughs> Good old soaked kibble. There's nothing up here, right? Nope, nothing up here. So look to that. We'll look at his lawn chair. A throne fit for Frank. She has like the way she says Frank. She like she both adores him and hates his guts. It's like a big brother kind of thing. That's really what it sounds like. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. 2010 was my graduation year. Is this what I think it is? Ah, oh, shit. I'm in the red. Stella? Is that Stella Stella? Stella from the first one? Drew owes 1,050. What is Drew buying? These are dates. There's Chloe with the 175. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Probably the hundred seventy-five dollars. Just going out of limb there. It's a bag of pot. I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, I want. I want to play with the puppy. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Where exactly is Frank going? I wonder if this is a real road. I wonder if this has a loop. That car was stopping, but Frank wasn't. Just keeps going. All right, let's give it to him. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. French for what? Or he's not a poodle? Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Gosh, Frank. Okay. You're terrible so, when you invite over company. Who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Wow. Okay. Do I want to back talk him? Yeah. I want to. I want to know. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Head up. Okay, so... Uh... I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Hung up. Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. I got Gossip it. Is all we have Thank heavens. From hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh. How about that firehouse chili of hers? Oh gosh. You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? Oh, it's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble? Exactly? <laughs> Forget about it, Chloe. Excuse me. Shouldn't have opened <laughs> my mouth. 
Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Um, how about you or money from what? Should I play Clueless? How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No, but I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Oh, gosh. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Uh... I did have it yesterday, but I snuck it into my mom's purse. Good for you, Price. Taking care of your own. You can pay me some other time. I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I did that. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Audio kid. Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs oh yeah, he's the one that owed 1,050. football players eat it like candy. That's smart. Oxycon? Yes. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, nah, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, <laughs> find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? What's in it for me? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, uh. <laughs> if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Damn. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. Oh, because the kids think. Price. A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With do it. Of cash and the truck fixed. R Rachel and I could really do it. Do I actually have a choice on this? For good. I'll do it. Good I didn't deal. think I would. Does his license say, say does his plate license plate say baked? Bread baked. Or bread box. Or something. There were a lot of B's. And possibly a D. Maybe an X. Alright guys, I think this is going to be our stopping point for this episode. We're about two hours into it. We are almost exactly two hours into it. Um, I had a great time. I'm so excited to get more of the story here. And to break into Drew's place and make some money. I didn't think I'd be back this soon. Do some business. So thank you guys so much for joining me for the first part. And as always, if you like well, the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more content from me, feel free to follow or subscribe. You can always hit the little notification bell at the bottom. And it'll notify you of when I post. I try to post daily. I and love doing these videos the with doors. you guys. Um, and I absolutely adore uh, Life is Strange. I'm so glad I get sharing this experience with you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the game as much as I did. If there's anything you'd like to see me play, feel free to comment in the section below, and I'll try to fit it into my schedule. As always, stay awesome, and gosh, 
I don't even know what advice to give after all that. Um, don't, 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 yeah, don't, uh, uh, when you're, when you're designing a car, make sure to make good, obscure fashion choices from junkyards. Have a good one, guys.